I hope it, I hope we all know what we're doing here because oh boy, this is where seven time. Yep, this is this is the reason why I didn't want to go beyond six Mega Man games because I know how much interesting and controversy the seventh title is to the series. Oh, I think Mega Man Seven is fun. You know, decent music, very good art direction. I must have. But this is where it began to deviate from the formula. This was the only title in... This is the beginning of what I like to call the second age of Mega Man, or Mega Man Silver Age. Mm. Because... You know, change things up now and then. Because everyone still bitches about... Everyone her heralds the fact that it's a br the Mega Man, the original of 6, is like the Bronze Age. This is the Silver Age, and not many people like Mega Man Silver Age. Ah, uh, I've still yet to play 8, though. Which we're going to be playing in the which I'm going to be playing in the near future. This is why I say Doctor Wily is more of a threat than Doctor Robotnik because at least when Wily knows that his plans are going to fuck up, so he always has a contingency plan. Interesting fact here. This is this is where this is where it slightly devious because he built four robots here instead of eight. Because I'm willing to bet, like if Doctor Wily discovered chaos, uh, you know, from Sonic Adventure One. Chaos would never fucking backstab him. He'd find a way to work to his advantage. In other words, clone? Well, no, it's just like, you saw what happened with King, for example, when Wily basically fucking bitch-smacked him into submission. Oh, yeah, spoiler alert. Oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> so, yeah, kind of they, so essentially, this is kind of like a bullshit intro. This is the only, me this is the 16-bit era of Mega Man. Oh, yeah. And that's all this no, is... No, that's not true. It's not true. Mega Man in base. Mega Man and Base was also 16-bit because of this one. Uh, this was created in 1995, right after Mega Man X2, so I, I kind of figured that th at this point in the game, they were like bored and they wanted to do something, so boom, lo and behold, they made Mega Man 7. And all the mistakes got, they I, made with this game, they built onto Mega Man X3. I think it's got more to do with the fact that people were like, you know, oh, just give us classic Mega Man, it's just like... Don't you dare do anything different, just give us the same old shit forever, and people want to complain the game's getting stale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I digress. Of course. And already we have a different title screen. This is the only time where it actually shows the red, the blue, and... Oh, kind of they nice. can't even spell monorail right! What the fuck? Monorail? It's, but it's supposed to be mono. Oh, I've seen this stupid... I think it's a YTMND, where it's like rock and roll just standing there. Mm -hmm. And like buildings fall on top of them. <laughs> Guess what music's playing in the background? What is it playing in the background? It's playing in the background. We built this city on rock and roll. <laughs> funny. <laughs> oh, funny. Why? Oh, YTMD. oh, very YTMD. funny poopers. That's actually hilarious. There wasn't YouTube poop. It was a YTMD. Well, that still fucking works. No, you're the man now, dog. Yes. Not those were the days. Aye, back in the early 2000s. Oh yeah. oh yeah, this is a brand new character they made for the game. Actually, this is Auto. Auto, 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 Auto as in A U T O N. Something about his helmet's not right. Isn't Auto another musical reference or musical pun? I think it's either it's automatic or something. Because I mean, in case we haven't mentioned it before, it should be blatantly fucking obvious if you're a Mega Man fan. Uh, Mega Man's the entire series is known for musical puns. So, name, for example, you know his Japanese name is Rock. His sister's called Roll, Rock and Roll. His brother's called Blues. It's a character we're going to meet soon's got a musical pun for a name, which is a which we're going to we're, we're, we're going to wait until he shows up. Yeah. So, so <laughs> Doctor Wily's like he's fallen and he's lost his contact lenses. Well, nothing's really happening here, so we'll just I'll just throw some random trivia. Out. Isn't it like? Dr. Light's appearance is based on the Santa Claus. I think so. Which is also, again, I keep, I know you plug in this comic. Oh, but, it looks like something is happening in the background. Sorry, James. Which is also um, a reference to the Mega Man and Sonic crossover made when Dr. Eggman said, mocking Dr. Light, saying, him in his Santa Claus beard. <laughs> well, the ending to that was kind of anticlimactic for me, but that's a rant for another day. Yeah. Well, you could see. You could I mean, see. It was the ending I saw coming, but it's like, I was yeah. expecting more, should we say. So, yeah, as you can probably see, Wally broke out of prison. Predictable as always. A little help from his friends. So, yeah, 16 bit era sprites. This is where it gets kind of interesting. For a lot of people, not many people like this game. I. I 
like the art direction it went with. The only problem I have is because I, as you all know, I'm a huge sprite guy, me and the buddies from Crossstar. Um, it's just, I'm looking at Mega Man's walk or running animation and just something about it just looks off to me. I can't quite put my finger on it. <laughs> and it's something that, you know, Mega Man A and Spike would say. The hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Wasn't, Actually, he, wasn't he gigantic in the cutscene? Yeah, I was Capcom! I know. Either that or just, you know. Size misrepresentation? All, all, the whole, mini mushroom. all the whole world all the whole world's a fucking lie! Everything I knew was wrong. Everything I knew was a lie! The world, the world all I grew up in is dead. Yeah. But yeah, just 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 to finish the point with me. At least with Mega Man 8, his running animation kinda of looks accurate, should we say. Yeah, 32. It's my boy! It's base! Or Forte. Forte? Because I don't know if that's a musical reference or not. Is his helmet got like Dr. Wily's hair on it? I believe it is! Which is, no one knew what it was at the time! Was he like, like... a big telltale sign that this is Wily's robot? Yeah. Why? Wily's ha his hair. Yeah. His, his mannerisms. Or oh, by the bat wings. I think so too. This, this was, this was probably when, when Mega Man X had zero. X, uh, freaking Mega Man needed a badass computer grid, so they made base. Well, I like with the Mega Man series, they kept, you know, the things simple. You got a friendly rival with Proto Man and an offensive rival with base. Unlike Sonic, we've got too many fucking rivals now. Just all you oh. need is just Knuckles and Metal Sonic. That's all you needed, but I digress. But, alright. Password! The password system they kind of, they, they threw in from the other one, and here are four robot masters. Uh, should it be eight? Well, that's the I thing. Know, it starts off with four. Next part, we're going to tickle on the first. Indeed.